But what is that? What would you say? Because you said that you have um, a point that was very difficult for you mm -hmm. um, in the first year of parenthood. Yeah, one of the biggest challenges or one of the hardest things um, here in year one for me personally was learning patience. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That was more so a bigger issue in the first couple of months. And I'm starting to, you, you start to adapt, um, you know, as, as the months go on right. into parenthood. So my patience isn't as uh, thin as it was, you know, in, in month one, two, and three. But I would say that like those first beginning months, just learning a whole nother level and mm -hmm. um, way about going li through life. Like, it's not just you anymore. It's not just you and your wife anymore. Like, me and you, we've been together since we were 20 years old. And I was able to, it, you easily have, adapt, we easily have adapted to a life, you know, supporting both of us. Right. So, that that element has already is mm -hmm. been gone and passed. Like mm -hmm. I know how to operate a life, not just looking looking at perspective for myself, but looking mm -hmm. at it for the best interest for both of us. Mm -hmm. But now introducing a baby and introducing this new integral part to our lives and mm -hmm. our family, it's not just me and you anymore. Now right. it's me, you, and the baby, and what's right. best for all three of us. And you know, as the father and as the person that is really wanted to be the protector and to be the, the provider and do all the things to build a happy and healthy family. Those things continue to, you know, be at the forefront of your mind. And it was difficult for the first couple of months trying to navigate this new life and how to operate and mm -hmm. how to, um, be there and be responsible mm -hmm. for this new uh human and right and you know i always of course I, I i love my son and i love my wife and everything but it's just the newness of being a father and figuring out you know how do i navigate being a husband and being a father and right having time for myself as well and just a balancing act of this new stage of life Right. Yeah. I think it's, it's also knowing that it's difficult to balance everything and what you felt comfortable juggling before you now add a baby into the mix and it just adds another level of complexity to like your schedule, your day to day. And like you said, operating in a way where it's not just about you and I anymore, it's mm -hmm. all three of us. Right. And with the primary focus, on him right yeah, now exactly. or is the primary focus is always going to be your child but as they get older they have more independence right so i think it's that but from my perspective i think for you is we all try to operate with rationale and i think that in a level of understanding and i think where you know you had some challenges is that it was just hard for you to understand at times mm. and i think that also played into you're not having any, you're like your patience being thin right? because you just didn't understand. Yeah. And there are a lot of times where I didn't understand either. So I, I totally get it. But I think that when you operate out of rationale, you think, Oh, a baby is crying because of this, but sometimes you just don't know and right. you don't understand. And it's, you have to go through all of these boxes to check off and say, okay, has the baby been fed? Yep. Has the diaper been changed mm -hmm. yet? Hasn't been this. And sometimes the baby's just crying because maybe they're colicky or the baby's crying because they're tired and they don't know how to, and they can't articulate that they're tired. There, there's many reasons why a baby can be crying. And sometimes you may not know the answer yeah. and not understanding and knowing the reason for it can cause patients to become thin yeah. or you become yeah. impatient because you just want to, there to be an one plus one equals two solution. Right. And that's not always the case, especially raising a baby. And right. we, and we've learned that very quickly yeah. that, what we think should be the outcome sometimes is, is, is not the case. Yeah, and exactly. you have to learn to just adapt. And with time, you build that patience. Mm -hmm. Those were incredible points. And I agree 100%. And I, I kind of went broad picture with the, the mm -hmm. patience, but you kind of narrowed it down to a day-to-day -day basis and right. like the, the reasons why patience was thin um, mm -hmm. from time to time. And it was really a lot because of, the the crying and stuff and not really figuring out like why is he crying and, and thinking like one plus one should equal two and 
you know, there's not always an answer or yeah. sometimes there is an answer, but it's just about having the patience and saying, okay, what are the reasons why right. he's crying? Or uh, the answer is not going to solve the problem as quickly as you think. Yeah. Like it may yeah. still require. And then plus, mm-hmm. plus also another big part of um, the patience being a, a problem definitely in the early months was because I didn't grow up around babies. Like I basically was the only child for one and for two um, growing up, I wasn't around newborns or babies. So, you know, now being 30 plus it it having a baby mm-hmm. on a day to, on mm-hmm. a daily basis, um, you know, relying on you, but also just the crying aspect is like, what the heck? Like, what, why is he crying? What is he, what, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And, and just like trying to figure that out. And over time you start to realize and you start to let, you know, gain a, a different, um, perspective on things but mm-hmm. i would definitely say the first couple of months were definitely hard when it came yeah. to that and i'm you know just being transparent yeah um, no but, and i think you should because i think that that is other people need to see that and know yeah. that because there are people that are going through the same thing mm-hmm. and to be able to see this video and say oh this person gets it like mm-hmm. i am going through the same thing as well and i don't feel alone i don't feel like it's just me and of course when we have these feelings it also kind of makes us question are we equipped? Are we doing the right things? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, am I being the best dad that I can be to my son? Am I mm-hmm. being the best mom that I can be? And so we start to have these doubts and fear that, that comes in and tells us otherwise because of some challenges that we're facing. Exactly. And so, um, and I, I, I definitely understand the patience thing because it require it requires you to have a lot of them. And, oh, uh, it's good that we're working on it now because as he gets older and he's going to be more expressive, he's going to, you know, have emotions and feelings right. of his own. And he's going to let you know when he is not happy or if he's upset or if he's tired, if he's excited or, mm-hmm. you know. And so there are going to be moments where your patience is con- continue to be challenged. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you it, learn doesn't, how to, it, it doesn't just stop here. That's for sure. Exactly. I, I yeah. definitely understand that. Mm-hmm. And um just like how year one, there's always growing yeah. points from month to month. Right. It won't be as frequent as he gets a little bit older. It won't be mm-hmm. month to month crazy changes. Yeah. But from year to year, there will definitely right. be changes. So from year one to year two to year five to year right. 10, there's so many changes that go along. And and you develop a different type of mindset to be able to register that right. and be able to say, okay, I understand what the process and the journey yeah. is going to be like. Yeah. And and shifting your mindset to have a more growth mindset for what is to come and what changes are going to come, not with only within him, but within you as well. And I like that that, along that journey. Yeah, definitely having a growth mindset. And I think if you, whenever we're experiencing a moment of challenge, just trying to be forward thinking and have that growth mindset and just understand that this is a part of the process and it is a blip in the child's life in a moment in, in your, um, part of your parenting journey yeah. that makes things just feel easier, right. you know, and it gives you that comfort in knowing that right. tomorrow will, and hopefully be a better day. Building a happy home, yeah. building a happy marriage, building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits and building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship and to pour into yourself. 